GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Journey of Life. Yes, we survived the night. We made it to the riverside. The beautiful riverside. So, yeah. Oh, I love it here. Um, this is where we're going to make a settlement. Right on the shores of this river. Now, I know we're going to make a dock sometime but just down over there is the ocean i mean it's not that far away so we should be able to hopefully make a dock down there uh we'll see if i have to move the flag i've got to move the flag and that would suck but i really don't want to have to build down on the ocean side uh the the settlement itself i'd rather build it up here i don't know we'll give it a shot i don't know if we can um, it might require us to actually be on the ocean side. Well, anyway, today we're going to continue on. Uh, we have to place a workstation and interact with it. Okay, so let's go into our crafting menu. We have stations, workstation. We're going to place that. We can always move it afterward. Um, so just anywhere... Nice clear area because um, we'll put some, we're going to put some uh, chests around it. So, you know, good enough right there. You know what? Who cares? We can always move stuff, right? That's the thing. We can move stuff. Okay. So we need 10 straight solid sticks. Well, that's pretty easy. We've got our wooden axe on us here. Actually, we've got two wooden axes. Let's um, let's dump some of the stuff off. We don't need the hammer. Or actually, no, we need the hammer. We don't need the pickaxe. We don't need the second axe. We don't need the shovel. We don't need the wooden torch. And to tell you the truth, what we'll do really quickly is we'll get all that fiber up crafting rope. <clears throat> Since it's on us, it's not going to screw up if we move anywhere okay oops let's bring that back go back into inventory so we're going to build the workstation we need 10 solid sticks so the easiest way we can chop down these little trees they give us sticks and fiber no it didn't drop a rock trust me it was there only <laughs> and oh there we go we just made 10 because we just hit some of these long solid ones. You can chop the long solid ones up to make solid, straight solid sticks. So, and only a couple of types of axes and axe handles can do that. The wooden axe that we have right now can do that. The wooden axe that we have right now is actually kind of an, a general, general average and everything sort of category. Um, it's not actually that bad. You'll see what I'm talking about when we... I'm sorry, I'm just going to drink half this coconut here. So let's grab that and we'll use that. Yeah, that helped out. Okay, we can just put... You know what? We can hold that on. We can hold that on to our... It's no sense throwing it in the ground. Um, sticks. We have enough right now. Let's finish this off. Just need a 10. Okay, and then we have to interact with it. So just look at it. When you're close enough with the little dot, you know, the workstation thing comes up. You hit E, and we interacted with it. Yay! Uh, what does it want us to do now? Collect clay, craft handmade clay pot, collect handmade clay pot. Okay, so we have to do that. So the, in order to do that, let's... Um, was that extra? That was extra that we, here, let's, um, let's put this down. We don't need all that rope on us. Plant fibers. We'll get that cooking. We can drop the sticks. Those are useful. We can use them as firewood. We can chop them. We can use them for construction. It's those long solid sticks are really handy. Okay. That looks like some right there. So let's grab our shovel. 
Um, you can grab it from here just by shift clicking on an item. It'll pick it up from the nearby. Especially if you're having a tough time getting the frickin' dot on it. If you just look down here, shift click, pick it up. Okay. Uh, let's craft some more <laughs> rope. This is going to be a reoccurring thing whenever you have fiber on you. Just do it. Just You're going to thank yourself in the long run when you have like 300 rope and you're like, oh, we don't need all this rope. And the next thing you do, know, you go to make a wall around your settlement and oh man <laughs> we should have kept all that rope okay let's dig this up and there we go clay chunks popping out so you can see the little circle up in the top right it's slowly shrinking it's now a half moon so that's the indicator how much is left to smash until it pops basically there we go and 15 out of that so we'll just pick all that up okay that's probably plenty for now and there's just clay everywhere you can see it in the river there it's just where we're we're not going to be wanting for resources uh except for food that can be a bit of a pain in the ass <clears throat> okay so we need to make this pot Clay pot. So pottery, handmade clay pot. We're going to craft that. Boom. And it completed that. Okay, good. Uh, now it wants to collect iron ore, place iron ore crushing station, build the crushing station, and then break iron. Okay, so that's not a problem let's do that let's just place this clay down first we're getting all full of clay handy dandy throw it right down on the workbench just like a table that's cool a lot of games you can't really do that you can also like i was saying if you pick this up or if you have something that you're putting down if you spin you can spin it you can spin the rotation isn't that cool i mean i can pick up this table right now and spin it or move it walk around walk around the island with it and place it somewhere else literally until you hit the right hand key so i'm not going to do that i'll just spin it the opposite way and there we go so yeah it kept all the stuff on it too <laughs> it's pretty cool um for i don't know i i think there's a lot of really cool little things in the game already that is going to make it a lot of people are going to like it. I, I swear to God. Okay. Um, what's next? Let's let's use the clay pot. We got a. It's raw. See how it says it's raw? Let's cook it. So we're almost out of. Oh no, we're almost out of. Let's uh, place some of these sticks on there. Oh, did we catch it in time? Did we catch it in time? Oh, come on! <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay. Uh, let's relight. <laughs> it's crazy. I can't get any closer without not having the fire continue. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. Um, so now that we have the fire <laughs> going, we can put this close to it. So we need to put it close to it to cook it because it says raw. So there you go. There's a temperature indicator. And eventually that'll say baked or cooked or something like that there we go baked then grab it so now we have this clay pot i'm going to put it in my hand and we can actually collect water with that now so you can see hold e to fill so i'm going to fill we get this uh, nasty looking water icon so it's nasty water see dirty water Oof. Don't want to be drinking that right now. That'll make you sick. So, what we can do is we can boil it. If we just place this close by. No. Nope. Nope. Right there. Okay. And the pot was already cooking hot still. So, the water will be... Shit, there we go. It's clean. 
So it just says water now and it has that potable symbol. So we'll grab that and we're thirsty. So let's just drink it. Uh, just aim anywhere so that it says hold E to drink from pot. You can see the faint text down in the bottom left there beside the nearby window. Um, yeah, if you hadn't noticed that before, I know it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, I'm just going to drink from it now, holding down the E, and there we go. We quenched our thirst with fresh water, and I believe we can just fill it up again. Yeah. So there we go. There we go. And then uh, we can put that down. Bake that. It's going to bake. Shouldn't take long. The reason I'm waiting. Come on. There we go. We can just turn this off now. We can turn the fireplace off. There we go. Okay. Collect iron ore. Place ore crushing station. Build ore crushing station. Let's let's build the station really quick. So let's go into here. It's a station or ore crushing station. It's right there. Uh, straight solid sticks, flat rock. Okay. So let's put it over here where a little bit more. It's easier to spot all the crap that falls off of it because when you're bat. Lots of stuff falls off this, and sometimes if you need to pick it up and you can't find it. But you can always do the nearby thing. Uh, okay, sticks. So let's smash. What we can do is we can... Long solid stick. Just one. Okay. Well, um, that's fine. Grab this. Go up to another one of these. You can also get, a, get uh, sticks from bush from like berry bushes. You can also pick them out of the ground by the small little individual bushes, but that's not very effective. See, this is much more effective. Seven long solid sticks out of that. We'll grab that fiber and six regular ones. So there we go. We have enough already. Just whacking that one little shrubbery down. Okay, switch to hammer. Pound that in and keep pounding and we're out. That's okay. We can just throw these down now. Actually, we have one over there, don't we? Here, let's just switch to our axe and we'll just get our little dot on there. There we go. No, 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 don't swing again. <laughs> Put held the button down too long. Okay. Um, is that going to be close enough? Maybe. Let's see. Let's switch to this. We've got the nearby. Let's see if it. No. Okay. Let's just grab it then. Okay. So, boom, boom, the rope. Put that rope on us. Oh, come on. There we go. And a flat rock. Oh, is that just too far? Here. Which is not now. Stand over here and boom. Nice. Okay. So let's go collect some ore then. We'll um, grab the... We don't need the axe. We don't need the hammer. We don't need the plant fibers and the... I'm just going to dump everything off here. We'll just use this really quick. Oh, we didn't have... Oh, there was... Okay, that's fine. It's all good. It's all good. So let's grab our shovel. Still a lot of health on the shovel, so we're good. And we're going to go... Oh, it's not the shovel we need. We need the pickaxe, because it's iron. So let's grab that. And yeah, we still have full health on that, too. So we're going to have to make a grindstone pretty quick, too. So let's just run in there and get some iron. <clears throat> Another reason why I set up near the fresh water here by the waterfall is because the cave has all these resources in it. 
Okay. I mean, mostly limestone, but, you know, there is iron, too. Nice. Smash this rock. We'll grab as much as we can carry. We're going to need a bunch of iron. So let's grab all this. That was a good haul off there. That was a big rock. Okay, let's uh, do this one. Come on. Woo. It's a tough one, though. You can see it's not every time you hit does the... Does it actually um, penetrate the rock when you look at And as the weapon gets dull, especially the iron weapons, they, ugh, they take forever to smash through once they become dull. But you can sharpen an iron weapon and replace its handle when the handle breaks. The only problem is eventually the iron head, you can only sharpen it so many times it seems and then that's it. And then it's done. I, I don't know what I I have another single player game that I've been playing and I got about twenty five hours into it now. Um and I don't know what to do with some of the things in the game. Let's get one more. It's one here. Um I don't know what to do with some of the things in the game that wear out completely, like fire starters and um, I mean, I'm probably completely derping and I can just like, like destroy something, right? Somehow. I don't know, but I don't know. Like it's just, there's no, there's no destroy symbol for a bunch of stuff. Um, wow. Well, okay. We're going to have to leave a bunch behind there. That's fine. Actually here, you know what? We'll go like this. And we'll free up another hand slot <laughs> and poof we don't have to leave any behind okay <clears throat> it's only a two-handed item if you have it in your hands okay that's actually a lot of iron that'll that'll keep us going for a while Nice. A little camp. So, we've got the iron, and it wants us to break it. So, a lot of people think to break the iron, uh, use a hammer. No. Use a pickaxe. It, it's like twice as effective. Maybe even three times more effective. It's just so much faster. And we'll try and get multiples in the same swing if we get them all... <laughs> You could, I, I'm not sure if this is intentional, but oh, I knocked one off. See, see how realistic the physics engine is too. It's pretty, pretty good. I mean, some things get a little ridiculous and they explode out into space, but whatever. It's an alpha. Okay, so we'll try and get. See if we can get. Uh, I think those are going to be too far away. If we can, we can probably smash these three at once, though. So let's try. Yeah, pretty close to all three at once. Well, it's a lot of uh, iron ore. So it completed that. Whoops. It completed that. Um, now it wants us to place a smelting furnace. The ore needs to be baked, it says. Okay, okay. Well, let's get it baked. So, I mean, it's not quite 420, but we can get it up to temperature. Okay, uh, get it baked. Let's get it baked. We need rocks to do that. We got to, you know, got to get it stone first. Got to get the stone on. And six right there, is that going to be enough? I don't think so. We're going to need clay. Let's put all this freaking iron down. Let's put it over here. Grab the clay. We're also going to have to make a air chamber, so I might as well just make that right now. Air chamber, let's craft that up. 
so we have that on us okay and then we're going to grab the rest of that clay because it requires just raw clay i don't think we have enough stone on us but we'll see uh, let's grab the hammer and replace the pick here we'll just get it off, off us so that we can grab that okay um so let's make it over here somewhere right here yeah <clears throat> station we want a smelting furnace okay let's spin it around so we can see the front of it oh we'll go there beside the or smashing okay and we'll uh, see it's it's hard to tell where that thing is okay it's, there's the tool tip there we can just swing here nope nope we got to aim towards it but we can't so yes it's an alpha they'll they'll that's sort of quality of life sort of things they can start working on and there we go do we have no i didn't think we we're gonna have enough rock on us one high density stone really Really? Do we just see any kicking around? I mean, there's a here. There's a stone deposit over here. Actually, here. Let's just smash this and bring all the um, high density. I think we're gonna need more. I'm not sure though. Maybe not. Wow, lots of them are dropping out of the thin air. There we go. Eight, nine, nice. I think we'll need some more flat rocks for like wheels, spinning wheels and stuff. Um, yeah, let's bring that over. Okay where the other rock was <laughs> just have all that we actually we probably didn't need all that because we've got it all here right it's okay we don't have enough of the dense ones so let's switch there and pound that in and it needed clay more clay and then more clay and boom there we go that's built so we can also upgrade that but we'll do that later i think it wants i think it makes us do it later so we'll just keep following along interact with smelting furnace ta-da we interacted with it smelt iron ore ball so we're going to put iron ore balls in there okay that's fine let's dump this stuff off now that we're done building it <laughs> just throw it all in the river uh that's fine that's fine wow we're already out of clay for the most part go through clay pretty fast when you start using it <laughs> okay um let's throw our ore in here now i think before we upgrade it we can like throw it all in potentially let's try i'm gonna put it all on us so it stacks and i think we uh it doesn't drop in stack why doesn't it can i like shift hold yeah okay yeah okay shift hold oops i just that was stupid <laughs> and now now i don't know which ones to pick up so this is the one drawback um with with the nearby it could be it could be already in the pot and you go okay nearby pick and you'll pick up all the ones in there instead of the ones on the ground so if you do what I just did, I kind of wanted to show you this when you dump something. You might have to walk around and look for it. <laughs> and that's why I put this here. Okay, out in the open where you can see everything. Um, let's continue. Let's continue. So if we drag it over, it just does one. See? stack that but if we shift drag it over it asks how many and we can it defaults to its mount there we go so shift drag over and yep actually it let us put us put it all in there i don't know how much is the max 
when you don't have an upgrade. The upgrade interferes with how much stuff is you can put in, so I can see why they did that. Okay, so now we've got our 15 iron smashed iron ore. Oh, we missed some. We missed some. Let's um let's grab that and reposit, you know, we could have just done it from the nearby too. We'll get this last four. We'll see if it'll take these last four. So they all fell all over the place, but I don't want to do the nearby because it's going to pick it out of the other thing, right? So you got to, this is, this is what I'm talking about here. You got to like <laughs> find them. Where'd they go? I don't want to just endlessly spend all my time picking them out of there because that's what seems to happen. Okay. Now, we'll see. We'll shift, drag. We'll do the entire thing. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's going to do 19. Wow. Okay. It probably does 20 or something. I mean, it's getting... It's looking pretty freaking full in there. Okay. Let's close that up. We can put some fire in there. So, yeah, fire. Um, got all those straight sticks. I really kind of wanted to use the birch. Didn't we have a bunch of birch here? Or did we use it all up? We used it all up. Okay. Well, let's try getting some more birch here from... Nope, that's the... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that with these. Okay, so I can just... Use my hands. Yay. Takes about the same amount as it does to chop with a freaking axe. It seems. Although if you get the right axe, it's like four hits. Done. The whole entire plant goes down. you got to build it properly. So once we can make a lathe, we can make axe handles. And <clears throat> we can pretty much almost make the iron stuff right now. we just got to upgrade this, which is trivial. It's going to make us do that. Okay, so was that it? That's good enough, though. You know what? That's good enough. We should be able to get this going here. Did that fill it? Yep. Okay, good. That's all I was looking for. And fire that up. So smelt iron ore bar. Now, technically... Once that get up, gets up to temperature and cooks for a while, these should all switch over to baked, I think. Or baked combined, combined baked or something like that, I think it says. I forget now. Combined baked? Or just combined? <laughs> there we go. Combined baked. There we go. Uh, and all 19? Wow, all 19 at once. So sweet. Now if we, if we, here, let's, let's drop this over here. If we interact, you know what, we've got fiber on us. Sorry, I keep getting sidetracked with fiber, but you got to keep on top of that. Don't let your fiber build up. Just rope it right away. Rope it in. Okay. Let's pick up all the nearby. That way it stacks on us and we're picking up the right stuff, right? And then we can... Now, is it going to drop each stack? Yeah, it drops each stack. So let's try... Um, let's see if we can get all of these smashed at once. So all 19, we're going to use the pickaxe again. Go for the center one. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just exploding with nuggets. And that's it. Done. See? See? Isn't that way better than smashing with a freaking hammer each one at a time? Don't do that, people. Group them all together, hit them with a pickaxe, and they, <laughs> they go down fast. So that was 48. We'll pick all those up. And it smelt iron ore ball. Smelt iron. Well, we did that. Four or five. Oh, we only did four. We only did four? I thought we did five. Really? 
Uh, okay, so we need... That's okay, we got lots of iron here. <laughs> we got lots and lots and lots. Let's put these little nuggets down. Little stacks of nuggets. Okay, we'll grab some more iron. So I wanted to, let's see if this will do it with uh, this last one here. I, I don't need to like have them all as nuggets right now. Why didn't it go in? Come on. Here, let's shift. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We'll let that cook for a second. Oh, wait, that was stupid. <laughs> People are like, uh, hello, Z lot. Yeah, I haven't smashed it yet. Yeah. Yeah, I just realized that. So let's do that. <laughs> Come on. We could do it. We could do it. Okay, then now we'll pick that up and throw that. <laughs> derp a derp. There we go. Oh, I should shift quick. Shift. Okay. Okay, so we'll let that bake, and that'll flip to combined cooked, or combined baked, I should say. Come on. Just, we can do it. How's our temperature? Is it not going to get up? I don't know if it has to go all the way up to the max to cook the balls. Nope, there we go. Okay, so we'll pick those up. See how the nearby allowed us to take it out without even opening the thing? That's kind of cool. And then we'll put that here. And, oh, you know what? That completed it. There we go. And build a workstation. Interact. So upgrade one. Build a workstation. It should say upgrade your workstation. Upgrade the workstation. Interact with it. So I understand you know, it is alpha, but that's basically what it's telling you to do. So when it when you have the upgrade icon or upgrade as the uh, subject for the mission, then uh, make sure you're upgrading, not making a whole new one, unless you unless you want a second one. Okay. So, build a workstation, interact with workstation, craft 200 saw. We ended up with a chunk of aluminum. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Okay, we've got lots of iron now. You know what? Uh, iron saw. Let's turn this. Let's turn this off for a second. Conserve some fuel. And we've got to make an iron saw. Now we can't right now. If you look, if you look, it's like ah. Oh. So we have to actually upgrade this, and that's what it's telling us to do, basically. And we're getting thirsty again. That's fine. Let's hit the upgrade icon on it. Once we hit the upgrade icon on it, we cannot use the station until we finished upgrading it. So we need to make sure that we can do it. We can. We've got seven long sticks right there it's going to require 25 solid straight sticks and we've got seven we can break those into two that would be 14 that's still we're going to be shy so we're going to need to go get more let's just go do that really quick then and i guess we could drink our water okay we're getting thirsty so let's do that Oh, it's dirty water. Didn't, oh, right, we, uh, ooh, damn, did I hurt myself? Did I make myself sick? You, did you see that icon when I started drinking? I'm like, oh, but I thought it was like, I, see, deceiving. It was still, I didn't pay attention. You can make yourself sick doing that. I'm not sure if I drank any. doesn't look like I drank much. Okay. So we need to actually do
deal with that. Let's light this then. And fire starters do burn out. That's why we made a couple. Okay. I'm glad I caught myself. As soon as I saw that strange icon, I was like, oh, release the button. Do not drink. Unless you see the clean white. There we go. So I'll show you the difference on the icon now. <clears throat> That clear white icon. If you don't see that, stop immediately. <laughs> stop immediately. Okay. So let's fill it up. And then this is the fill up icon. And that was with dirty water. Okay. So you get the idea now. You just got to pay attention. I didn't there, lucky enough. The icon gave it away. We'll just let that boil really quick since it's like almost ready. Then we'll shut the fire off. Come on. Come on. There you go. Okay. Um, so let's gather what we need. We're going to have to grab one of our wooden axes. You know what? Let's uh, get rid of our pickaxe. And we don't need all this rope on us. So with that, we'll grab the axe. And what we what we need is that's bamboo. That's not going to help right now. We will need bamboo, but what we need is that is broadleaf. This is actually a tree. It'll drop logs, so we don't need that. <laughs> what we need is some berry bushes if we can find them. Okay. Well, what we're going to do then? We do need some more food. This looks like it has none on it. So what we're going to do is this one looks like it has fruit on it. Yeah, this has fruit on it. So let's chop this down. We'll grab the fruit and the fiber and the sticks. Oops, whoops. There we go. Pre-cut some up. <laughs> okay, just uh, let's use that. Yeah. Uh, we need to, should have probably just used all. That's fine. That's fine. We're fine. Uh, so there we go. We've got our sticks. Five. We can turn into ten more. And we got ten on us. And we had another seven back here. Okay. So what we need to, no, we didn't have seven. We had, yeah, we did. Seven. I thought it was seven. Okay. So now. If we go like this and chop it, see that only does, it only breaks one when you do that. So I'm going to pick those up, get them out of my way. So I don't, because if you chop those, them again, you end up with short sticks that are useless right now. Oh, well, actually, no, they're not. We will need some. We will need some to make the saw with. I'm not going to say useless. They're not useless. Okay. There's our 25. And then we'll just... Oops. Hit upgrade. And 25 solid sticks. Yeah, I already knew how much it... I know. It's because I just did the little... The first part of this game off camera. So... Oh, did I not? I have 25 on me? I thought I did. Did I? Hmm. Okay. And two more. There we go. Okay, so we have an advanced workstation now. Uh, so there we go. We'll build it. Workstation is completed. Interact with workstation. Craft 200 saw. Collect 200 saw. Do we have enough clay? No. No. We don't have enough clay. Okay, so let's get some clay really quick before we run out of light. I mean, not like it's a big, big deal. There's lots of clay right around us. Let's put that down. 
And get that crafting. The fiber we have on us. Oh, that means that there's stuff on the ground. Let's grab that and have it on us. Or else it'll screw us up when we start moving. Okay. Clay, clay, clay. What is that? That's a rock? Oh. <clears throat> Okay, there's some clay here though. Yep. We'll just beat the clay with our shovel. We'll beat it. We'll do the Michael Jackson. Okay. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay, I can't wait for the freaking steel shovel. When you keep the steel tools sharp with the proper handles proper heads with proper handles they are way more effective <laughs> i must admit uh, come on there we go and let's tab we'll grab all that okay that should keep us going long enough let's just oops let's just get all turned around and get lost right before it starts getting dark because that is always fun. Okay. We're going to have to light the fire pretty soon. And call it an episode. So we're doing good though. We're doing good. So the next thing is we interact with it. We make the mold for the two-handed saw. It's right here. Do not make the iron gear or the um, sawmill blade yet. You need to make the two-handed saw. So let's craft one of those now you can see it made this box a box well it's not actually a box see it just it just upgraded our quest we have to upgrade the smelting furnace so that we can make the saw blade so let's do that what does that require we need come on one smelting pot and I already know we need a clay funnel. So let's just make them both so we don't have to run back and forth. So pottery, smelting pot, and casting tunnel. So there we go. Craft that for me, please. Oops, no, no, no. Craft that for me. <laughs> Not two of them. And casting tunnel. Okay. Now we can upgrade, put our hammer in our hands. Oh, we also are going to have to put this down over here so that we can heat that up when we're going to light the fire here pretty quick. But we don't need to actually bake these. They just We can just form them out of clay and put them in here because as soon as you they bake, they self-bake, I guess, on <laughs> initial fire up. Okay, so let's hammer these in. Wham, and then it needs a casting tunnel, which we have, and wham, it's done. So there we go. Now what we do is we put these molds down beside, underneath the casting tunnel. This one's raw. We have to um, heat this up. So let's do that. We're going to put uh, more wood on the fire here. Let's use some more sticks. I don't care. We can get a ton of them. And we'll light this up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay. Come on. Baked. Need you baked. There we go. Grab that. And we bring it over here. And we just place it anywhere close by and it snaps in. So it needs five iron nuggets for the saw blade. Okay, so let's grab some iron. Six there, good enough. Um, how much fuel do we have in there? Uh, maybe not enough. It's not topped up. So let's grab some more sticks here. Can we? Come on. Let's grab those. 
Okay, there we go. Let's light this. Oops, oh, I wasn't too far. And you can see the temperature climbing up. And we'll watch watch the side casting tunnel as the nuggets. Oh, we don't have nuggets in there yet. So let's throw our five nuggets in. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, it says five. Good. Let's close this to get it hot. Now, as that gets up to temperature, those things are going to melt pretty quick. And it should come running down into our mold. And come on. Oh, there it goes. Cool. And then we can take out. Now, everything just drops to the ground, remember. There's no real, I don't know why it's a takeout, because it's just like, it's, you're more like shaking it out. Okay. <clears throat> now, we can just pick that up, because we don't need to make another one of these for, I don't know. I haven't actually needed to make multiples of, of the saws, so. That's fine. We'll just throw that up here for now. Okay, so we have the saw blade. Woohoo! And we need to mold the saw. What do we need for the saw? Is that a tool? Yes, it is. The saw. We need two short solid sticks. Okay. So let's let's do that. We can put this down. And we'll smash that a couple times. So wham, and then we'll smash one of these sticks. Come on. There we go. Oops. Where are they? Right there. Well, we ended up making eight of them, whatever. They can be used as firewood too. <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. We'll get this done. There we go. The saw. Get that crafted. And bam, that completed that. And now it wants us to do the wood processing, which is going to be for another day. We are deep into the night here. This episode's probably ran in, uh, ran a little long. So let's call it an episode here. Um, here let's put this out. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Bruce. That was very cool. We're we're getting there. We're getting there. So we've got our advanced crafting station. We've got our advanced smelter. Uh, we can make casting molds of our... Oh, yeah, I'll show you. So we can make casting, lots of different casting molds now, as you saw uh, by a glimpse, like ingots, nails, um, hatchet heads, axe tops of all different types and they actually have different stats so as you can see see some have do better damage on trees and less damage on plants some do more on plants but have really bad stomach consumption and don't do much regular damage some some are all around average um, so this is this is the best the most damage on trees is this top and if you put that on the most damaging handle for trees, it actually, you can chop a big tree down in four swings. And that's what I use when I, and that's what we're going to work to, towards. Hopefully we'll have that done next episode. Because next episode is going to be the wood processing. Once we have the woodworks built, we'll be able to make our lathe, which will give us handles. So. That's our goal for next episode. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.